<laughs> All right, so we're starting our day. Day three in Singapore. We're about to go visit JS, the best tour guide I could ask for. And we're walking to the train station now. The train station here is really reliable. You only pay one dollar, around one US dollar, and it gets you from point A to B really easily. Singapore is really small too, and uh, it's not even crowded, it's really clean. I love the transportation, it's really efficient. And it has AC, so. Oh, so great. So we're in the Holland Village now, guys. We're gonna find JS. It's like a little shopping area. I guess they really like Dutch people over here in Singapore. And we're about to go to this hawker market to eat. Look around, see what you want. Yep. We can order something to share. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna order the... Yeah, okay. Order something to share. This one right here. Kua Kien. Peng. Peng. So also apparently the rule of thumb here too is to go to the hawker stall with the longest line or just Hainanese chicken rice because all the Hainanese chicken rice here is really delicious. Oh. There's a small community of Dutch people here. Really? I didn't know that. That's how you know you're in um, Little Holland with the windmill right there. <laughs> At night, the whole street closes. Mm -hmm. And then you just have bars and everything. Yeah, really the pops and bars. Yeah, so it's great at night. Actually. Come here if you want some nightlife in Singapore. Alright guys, got the best tour guide here, JS. So we're at the Hope Paul Villa and uh, it's supposed to be like amusement park. But it's right here. Looks pretty cool. We're about to explore it now. They made this part? Yes, exactly. So you're seeing Thai teacher. Yeah, my mom. Thai teacher. Sure, you guys get this ice cream bread when you're here because it's like super delicious. <laughs> and I've already got two already because they're really good. We're at the top of the amusement park, JS, and Sean are giving us history lessons. In every one of these statues and pieces of art, there's like a story about Chinese mythology. Alright, so we're about to enter the hell section. Wish me luck. So we have just entered the 10 courts of hell. <laughs> The biggest and best part of this park and museum. Get ready to be spooked. So this, here you go to a different level. So this is level one. So there's ten stages of hell. We're about to go to each and every one of them. This is this is fun. Alright, so this is what happens if you guys dodge taxes and don't pay your rent. We just left hell, and I would like to say that I do not want to do anything oh, bad yeah. for the rest of my <laughs> life. I'm going to be an angel. Alright, so we're at NUS, the National University of Singapore. This is where JS and Sean goes to school, and they're giving us a tour. So we're now entering the UNESCO Heritage Site, the Singapore Botanic Gardens. Oh, the Botanic Gardens used to be the research centre by the British, the study plants from all over the Commonwealth. Uh -huh. So I think I think that's the reason why it was given the UNESCO status. Oh. If I'm not wrong, because of its historical significance. Is JS is the best time. tour guide ever, he has all the facts. Good to know. Good. Yeah. All right. So just one of these, the exhibits in the Botanic Gardens, the rainforest. I feel like I'm in Jurassic Park right now. Still walking in rainforest. It's really relaxing in here. So 
We're heading to the orchid garden. It's a part of this botanic gardens where you have to pay, but it's a lot nicer, so let's check it out. So it's an extra five Singaporean dollars to get in here. And I must say, so far, it is worth it. Because this place is banging. at the gardens and luckily we came on a Sunday because they have a free symphony opera show here so I'm about to see that at this park in the middle of the botanic gardens this garden is indeed very huge all right guys we're about to go to the Newton Food Center Hawker Center the one in Crazy Rich Asians it's right here and we're about to eat all the food that was in the movie, plus more. So many stalls, so many food choices. It's crazy. About to eat everything. Alright guys, so this is like an amusement park of food. I'm actually going to explore to get some chicken satay and some chicken wings. Chicken. This chicken and this is, I think, other beef. So this beef. This is the rice cubes, and this is the peanut sauce. So it's like kebab, I guess. Do you want? And chicken wings. Food is excellent. Excellent. Yeah, lovely. Great. We normally come here quite often. Yeah. Um, maybe about almost every one week, two weeks. Sandu, karam sandu, sandu. Beef satay skewers. Bar. Can't end the meal without dessert. Yep. Dedicated to JS because he loves ice cream and he loves all the dessert in the world. Yum. We just finished our meal, actually Newton Hawk Center. In all, one of the best meals I've had. It's fire. Stay tuned for more videos and subscribe to see more eating.